Alrighty, this is going to be more of an educational HVAC video. Um, this is basically just going to be a video on the sequence of events in your standard gas-fired heating furnace. This is a uh, Lennox Elite Series G60 80% efficient furnace. Um, so, I'll explain the sequence of events and I'll fire it off and then uh, show the sequence. Like, which goes at which time. And water heater is running right now. There you go. I think this is from 1997. Um, I'm not quite sure. Or 1998. But anyways. So, this here's that video. Um, so, what happens first is the draft inducer, this little blower here is called the draft inducer. This will spin up to speed. And what it does is it sucks out all the byproducts of combustion from the flames. It sucks the heat exchangers out. And the heat exchanger is empty into this box here, which is called the collector box. And then this mounts onto the collector box, sucks all the gases out, and blows them up through and up there to their flue pipe. Um, with the 90% plus furnace, uh, basically it works the exact same except that the heat exchangers, which is what all the flames heat goes into, um, are bigger and longer and cooler gas escapes. So as a result of a bigger heat exchanger, more heat goes to your home, less is heated in, or less is lost in the exhaust. So it can be vented out through PVC pipe. This one is an 80% furnace, so it has to be vented out through metal because less heat goes to your home and more heat goes out. It's your 20 cents of a dollar going out. So anyways, so yeah, the draft inducer spins up. Then the pressure switch here verifies that, making sure there's no back draft. It makes sure there's only air going out. No back draft. Um, that makes a soft click. And then... The draft inducer is done purging. Hot surface igniter, which is right back there, will come on. This glows up to 1,200 degrees as a silicone igniter. Um, and then after, I'm not sure, 15 seconds or so. Uh, let me check this actually. 20 second igniter warm up. Okay. So after 20 seconds, this gas valve will click. And it will allow gas to come in here. We'll go into this one first where the hot surface igniter is. It will shoot through here and then the flames will spread. All right, and then after about, um, let me see here, 45 seconds, the blower will come on and the blower just blows across the heat exchangers. So, in baby talk, uh, I'll explain how a furnace works. Basically, your burners here, heat goes into these aluminum like tubes they're twisted they kind of come like out this is the burner here they go out up and then into the draft inducer collector box mm -hmm. so the heat's collected into those tubes and then it gets sucked out when the heat's done and blown out and those tubes get really hot I mean like a few thousand degrees the blower here um, blows on the tubes and that transfers the heat and you get warm air Ta-da. There's a lot more technical stuff, but again, this is educational for mostly people that don't know. I'm sure a few of my good friends will watch this. And yeah. But anyways, so one more time. Draft inducer. Pressure switch. Um after that, gas valve or um I'm sorry. Draft inducer, pressure switch, igniter, gas valve, burners, blower. And then maybe even the humidifier, but I turned that down low. So, I'm going to start it up and we will hear it. Oh, by the way, 80% efficiency. See? So, I'm going to start it up right now. Alright, there goes your draft inducer. This is going. Pressure switch just verified. Alright. Now we're waiting for the igniter. There she goes.
right? So, igniter's on. F draft inducer came on. That clip was the gas valve opening. And the burners just lit. Those are the burners. This furnace has three burners, but they have high BTU outputs. This is 75,000 BTU two-stage gas furnace. The draft inducer speed just bumped up because this is a variable speed draft inducer. Now, we will wait for the blower. Right, the blower just kicked on. The blower is on medium speed for heating. This camera doesn't zoom too great in the light. Anyways, so that's that. Draft reducer came on first, and pressure switch verified. Igniter came on, gas valve, burners, and um, the blower. In cooling mode, you always want the blower set to high speed so it won't freeze up your evaporator coil. And anyways, for now that's that. But then when it, uh, this particular furnace, when it turns down or turns off, uh, first the burners will uh, go off. Five seconds later, the draft inducer comes off. The blower runs for five minutes, shuts off. There you go. Now there's one other thing we have to do today. And that's changed the filter. Because this filter, I haven't changed uh, for about two months now. Let me think here. No, only about a month. No, yeah, about a month, five weeks. This thing's been in here. So, anyways, it's overdue for a change out. And I know these pleated filters are just total, or these non-pleated filters. Our total junk, but this is what the Lennox dealer that's down the street from me recommends. So I'm not gonna argue, even though I'd rather not. Um, all right, make sure we have good airflow. I just want to hold these two up next to each other. Dirty, clean. Wow, way overdue. All right, air flows this way. Want to filter this way. Alrighty. You always want the arrow on the filter pointing at the furnace. This will help a lot. Like the new filter will. I hate this filter rack, rack with passion towards the furnace. This is why I hate it. Anyways, um, yeah, my filter is undersized. I need a 20 by 20, or at least a 20 by 20, maybe even a 20 by 25. Anyways, I'm going to turn the heat back on one more time. Draft inducer just came on. This is the last time. Pressure switch just verified that. Makes a very soft click. Alright, so draft inducer, pressure switch, hot surface igniter. On some furnaces, it's spark igniters. Uh, what you hear is just a series of loud clickings, like, and then it sounds kind of like a gun in the burner's light. So, gas valve, burners. Alright, one more time. We'll just wait for the blow. I hope this gets a point across. And I uh, know this, these swings aren't supposed to be that orange. Whatever. The dude from up there who came to do a checkup on it claims the heat exchangers were fine. I said bullcrap. Because they're not. They're orange flames. But anyways, I'll explain what that means in a minute. You know what the blower sounds like in startup. Anyways, um, 
Here goes the blower. So basically, what it means is actually, I'll show you this one more time. Um, the flames, you can definitely see there's quite a bit of orange on the flames. Basically, heat exchangers rust out. Um, and when your heat exchanger rusts out, it cracks, and then those flames, they have CO2, um, basically go into the blower chamber, and then the blower is blowing um, carbon monoxide all over your house. So that's why I have this here. So far, it hasn't gone off, but can't trust it. Your flames are supposed to be as blue as they can get, like almost 100% blue. But these have quite a bit of orange, so I'm worried about a cracked heat exchanger. Um, not sure yet, but you know, whatever. Um, so. That's about it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope if you didn't already know it, you learned something. Because I tried and made this as easy to comprehend as I could. Which is really quite simple. Just everyday knowledge for me and most day track people. But anyways, thank you for watching. Um, we'll check to make sure this thing's blowing warm air. And again, this furnace is in the basement, so... Oh yeah, it's blowing warm air. Oh. Alright, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Alright. Thank you again. Happy New Year.